We are profoundly honored to be joined today by the family and loved ones of Lakin and some of her great friends. I met them. They're so incredible. The whole, the whole group is incredible. To Lakin's oh, parents, not- John and Allison and her sister, Lauren, her roommate, Connolly, and to all of those who loved Lakin, the hearts of hundreds of thousands and indeed millions and millions of Americans and people worldwide. Alongside of your beautiful hearts, we share your grief. We share your grief. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. I know how tough it is. It's so tough. We vow to keep Lakin's memory alive for as long as we are here on this earth, and we take comfort that she is now home with God in heaven. And I want to thank you, and thank you for, thank you for being here. Incredible. I know how tough it is. Incredible done on our border is a crime against humanity and the people of this nation for which he will never be forgiven. That's a very hard thing. We're going to fix it. We're going to fix it fast. We're going to have the largest deportation in history. But what a tremendous shame that this could have happened in our country. What a shame. Lakin Riley would be alive today if Joe Biden had not willfully and maliciously eviscerated the borders of the United States and set loose thousands and thousands of dangerous criminals into our country. To her family tonight, I promise you, I will demand justice for Lakin. Justice for Lakin. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Incredible. I will fight like no one has ever fought before to ensure that what happened to this American daughter, this incredible, incredible American, that this never happens to any other daughter or anyone else ever again. We will do everything we can that it doesn't happen again.